Hey, this man is Sidney Poitier. Um, he, he was dynamic. I thought he was a Guyanese, but uh, um, he was an American born in uh, Miami, in Florida, and uh, of Bohemian parents, lived in Bahamas and so on. But I did not know of the film in which he got some uh, award. I knew him from To Serve With Love. And uh, the teachers were advising us to go see the show. Because, you see, we were born in the British Empire. And um, I guess the British folks, in a variety of ways, tried to uh, influence us. I mean, it was slavery. Then they stepped off and, and they still tried to maintain the superiority thing. No. I love the Queen and the family and all that, and it has nothing to do with any childhood inferiority or whatever. I think that it's a matter of respect. Uh, they're the head of the Commonwealth, and they give that kind of deference and that respect. Now, um, say um, some white person who might have been a president or some king does something dumb. I mean, I uh, say, oh, I, I, you know, it's like he's good and whatever. It's like the Queen has being noble and doing a special job in our family. Um, I know the precious, the honor, and so on. So, um, you know, there's a lot of love and respect, and uh, I admire the royal family. But as children growing up, um, some white folks try to give us the impression as if they were nothing. I don't think the royal family ever did that. And, um, I mean, the Queen is very careful to caution our grandkids and kids about, you know, the Commonwealth people. I mean, one of our grandchildren was called in the uh, people from Pakistan, um, some name, and uh, she advised them that, you know, you're a prince for those people and uh, you got to respect them. And, uh, and that, was, that was remarkable. Um, but nevertheless, um, we were advised to go see the show. And um, Simi pointed to change the way I you know, felt about myself because um, subconsciously um, you felt that white people were so different that um, you can't do what they're doing. Um, I mean, it was a matter of fact. Um, but the Sydney point the show where he was competing with them and he was the teacher and um, he more than them. I mean, it's a role, etc. But nevertheless, it did something for all of us in the Caribbean and I guess around the world. Uh, then James Brown came on with uh, Black and I'm Proud. So um, I think that uh, Sidney Poitier uh, deserves the highest medal that uh, the president has given him. Um, I love him. I guess one day I hope to meet him. But uh, in the interim, um, uh, the boxing match with the white guy was remarkable. Then Lou liked him and sang it to serve with love. And um, he operated very professional and was teaching in an elegant and, and authoritative way. And um, that wasn't something that you would see in the Caribbean, um, you know, as a child. So, as I said, Sidney Poito has uh, definitely um, changed the way we saw ourselves. And um, he put white folks in perspective as being just like us. We are all humans. Uh, we all have our frailties and, and our uh, strengths and so on. So um, I love this man, Sidney Poitier, and uh, I think that I uh, hope he could hear this, that uh, he definitely made a difference in the, in the lives of black poor folks. And, and in his own experience, in the early days when he was trying to get into um, the acting and the drama and so on, uh, he was rejected. Um, his Bohemian accent, I understand, was an impediment. But he worked in it, and uh, though it shouldn't have been that way, I mean, he was trying to work in the black community, but yet he had that challenge. So um, there it goes. He had challenges with the white, he had challenges with the black, he had challenges with the uh, yellow. So black people were um, in battle all around, um, but he persisted, and um, he did get his break, and uh, he did make a significant difference. And um, I really, really, really am grateful that I did see to serve with love. Um, I think that uh, my new 
or as a child, my, my position is that, hey, I could do it too. And um, when I went to Canada, uh, it was an eye-opener because I found for the first time white folks that were begging and that um, were objectively, uh, or were poor, poor than me. And that's something that you didn't see in the Caribbean. Though Sydney pointed, sorry, love wasn't about that. It was simply a story in the West End of London. And, um, you know, he was teaching and he had to, you know, earn his respect. And uh, he even had to, one of the guys he would challenge a fight in which he stood up and um, everything was good. So again, um, hats off to Sydney Poitou, who is great and brilliant life and um, is to serve with love.